Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still working on electoral trade uh, theory and two uh, revisions in this platform. We are going to be focusing on DC machines from the question paper of November 2022, where we are given the first part of our paper uh, on question six, which is uh, briefly explaining the following terms as applicable to DC machines, all right? So we've got 6.11, that is the amateur reaction. So what uh, is amateur reaction in DC machines or relevant to DC machines, okay? So our amateur reaction in this case, this is the distortion, the distortion of the main flux entering and leaving the armature caused by the flux set up by the armature conductors when they carry current. So that's a distortion which is happening in the main flux entering and leaving the armature, all right? Uh, caused by the flux set up by the armature conductors when they carry a current. So that is uh, the major part that we have. Uh, the other part of the question we are given uh, in this case, that is commutation, okay, 6.12, that is commutation, each carrying two marks in this case. So for commutation, uh, we are given this part that commutation is the reversal of the EMF and current in the short-circuited coil during its transfer from one commutator segment to the next. So that is what we refer to as uh, the commutation, which is uh, important on your description or on your definitions in this case. All right, so uh, 6.2, state two methods that can be used to reduce the sparking between the commutator and the brushes. Okay, so remember, if we are dealing with uh, the commutator and the brushes, we can have uh, this sparking that happens. So what can be done to reduce that is the, the methods that is what they are saying what can be done to reduce this uh sparking okay so we've got uh, a lot of methods that we can have but just a few we can uh, reduce this sparking by increasing the brush contact resistance using interpose using compensating windings shifting the brushes so just any two from these ones can be based on your uh, answers. So you just have to pick any two. So if you have got any others that you, you know about or that you can help us with, make sure that you mention them on the comment section so that we can also add for more revisions. On 6.3, we are now given to draw a neat labeled circuit diagram of a series found DC techno DC generator clearly indicate the load and the direction of the current flow. All right, so that's a series wound DC generator, okay? So this is what we have uh, in this case for a series wound DC generator. So we have got uh, the input, in this case, the mechanical power, that is our P in. Uh, then we have got our EMF, which is our E. So in this case, take note of the flow of currents, all right, the amateur current, uh, that we have also we have got our currents that is are going to be affected uh, to the load resistor that is where we're going to have our load so that we could uh, have our load current and the output voltage where we have got our uh, output power which is the electrical uh, output in this case so we are supposed to be very very careful on the flow of currents and also the presentation uh, of what of the loads that is uh, the load on the output. Then in the input, we are going to have, uh, we've got amateur and amateur current in this case, which is important on your uh, on your diagram. Okay, so with this information, you can actually obtain all your marks. Okay, we can actually have all the marks that we are given in this case, which is uh, four marks. All right, so that's it, guys. Uh, for Amazon African Motives, working on electrical trade theory, guys, as you can see, this is, trade the theory it's all about theory so let's revise more theory more question papers that can actually help to improve more